Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. This is going to be my fourth attempt with the direct landing script. And I'm recording these back to back to back, which is a bit unfortunate because in my third attempt, I left a couple questions out there. I said, what do you think I can do to improve? But unfortunately, since I'm recording this video immediately after that one, by the time anybody responds to that video, I won't have had a chance to see those responses. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try again on my own and see if I can improve things a little bit. So let's go ahead and switch camera views here. Let me go ahead and do that camera because we're gonna have our time information over on the right. And okay, let's go ahead and view our flight record. So yeah, we've done three attempts, two crashes, one suffocation. All right, so that's where we stand. And let's go ahead and skip the intro this time because we've already seen it a couple times. Okay, so that almost scared me. <laughs> So we get this big crash bang, Gear up. and we have 56 minutes to figure this out. So I think one thing I'm learning is that we need to get into things quickly here because the more time I spend just sitting here talking, I'm running out of time. So let's kill rotation, uh, left shift escape, right shift escape. And so I still think that using interplanetary MFD is a good choice. So we're gonna continue doing that. Um, watching the last video I did though I saw something that was probably stupid so I'm I, I forgot that I think we can just target Brighton Beach yeah so instead of typing in the latitude and longitude people were probably watching that like dude why don't you just press target well I found it eventually okay so we also know we again we don't we I haven't I still haven't taken the time to like create a separate vessel put it on Brighton Beach so I could find out the altitude. Um, I know it's negative, I just can't remember right how much, so we'll just do zero for now. Again, we'll stick with zero. But once we get to the point where we're really close to landing, if this actually plays a factor, then I'll worry about that more. But right now, I feel like we're still a bit off <clears throat> from having any real chance of landing. Okay, and we know, uh, let's see. So again, the maximum uh, reentry time that we could have at one hour would be 3,600 seconds. We don't have that much time, and we have to include some time for landing. 1,800 would be a half hour. So I've been doing 2,500. Um, let me think here. Can we go a bit more than that even? So let's think about this. So 1,800 is 30 minutes. And if I add 300 seconds to that, that's five minutes, so 35 minutes. So if I had 600 seconds to that, that's 10 minutes, so that's 40 minutes. So 600 plus 1800 would be 2400. So 2400 is uh, 30, no, 40 minutes. So that would leave us 14 minutes to figure out our landing. Let's add another 300 minutes, 300 seconds to that. Let's try 2700. Okay, and one nice thing there, that actually lowers our delta V a little bit. But again, that's going up by the second, so let's just auto burn, because every second that goes by, things seem to be getting more and more expensive. So let's get lined up with the base. And let's target Brighton Beach over here. And we should see that interplanetary MFD. Wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. I forgot to set my, um, I forgot to set my anticipation angle. I don't want it to be 21 because that will have me arriving way, way in front of the base. And I want zero. And actually what I might do, because I saw last time that I was arriving, by the time I was slowing down, it was pushing me back. So I think I'm gonna actually put in a negative here. Let me try negative one degree. And hopefully that didn't, hopefully I haven't completely ruined this already. Um, but that'll put me just a little bit past the base. So that way as I'm slowing down, that will get me closer and closer to the base. I probably have already blown this flight, but hopefully, hopefully it was close enough. All right, and at any rate, we probably wouldn't make it anyway, so, or this is still learning experience. So let's zoom in, let's go over here. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yeah, so that puts us a little bit past the base. So, because you saw in, in attempt number three that as I started slowing down, my line was dragging back. So I'm thinking if that happens again, 
then I want the line to be dragging back closer to the base, not closer to the mountains. All right. So I'm just getting things. All right, now let's go to translation. translation and let's see if we can translate this line up a little bit. So that's the wrong way. That's helping. And that's helping, and that looks pretty good to me, like straight across the base. So let's... Um, we know we're going to need to be retrograde for the big burn. And we don't need this anymore, so let's bring up our camera. And we'll view out the back, tail back. So once that's, it'll be over top of Brighton Beach, basically, when that's done settling. Okay, so we have 3,800 worth of Delta V, which is more than we had last time, so maybe we had a better burn. Oh, well, we may also just be farther out. Not sure. Okay, so that has us pretty well settled, so let me go ahead and turn that off. Kill my rotate, and let's warp time forward. Instead of going all the way down to 1,000 this time, let's go to 2,000, so we still we have a little bit more time to think. Well, so much for 2,000. 1,300 at, at, at any rate. So Brighton Beach is like right over here, and I think we were pretty close last time. Let's use Burn Time Calculator again, and main engines are selected. That's what we're going to use. And again, somewhere between here and here. We, we ran out of fuel last time, so does that mean that we started the burn too soon or too late. But again, let's figure out our range. So 2770, we'll say, because that number is going, you know, less. So 148 kilometers on the low end. And then 3150, we'll say. So the range seems to be pretty consistent, somewhere between, you know, 100 and hundred something kilometers upwards of 200 kilometers so now we just have to decide when are we going to begin the braking burn so that we're slowed down let me think let me let me what if we put in 2500 let me know Let's get down a little bit more. Let's get down to 500 kilometers. Okay, so that's 500 kilometers. Now, let's put in this number, 26, and let's round it to 2650. So 135 kilometers is how much distance we need to eliminate our vertical speed. But I think we may hit the ground if we just do that. Let me think here. The only thing I don't know, we would, yeah, we definitely have enough fuel to burn off that because we have 3,800. So, and we said that it would be upwards of 190 if we went with the bigger number, although that number is increasing. So let's see what it is now. So that's 215 now. So maybe, so maybe that's not enough. Maybe we would slam the ground. We are retrograde, I think. Let me just double check, make sure I'm in retrograde. Because we're going to be beginning the burn pretty soon. So... I may actually have to go down to 0 0.1 to think. Yeah, let me actually do that. Let me get down to 0 0.1. That'll give me longer to think because we're coming up on the time to burn. Let me take a sip of water. So.
if we did this burn, we would in theory still have 500 meters a second left. But I'm worried that if we did that, we'll be... All right, let's... Okay, let's look at the, let's look at our range again. Twenty five eighty, let's say. So that'd be one. Let's say like one hundred and thirty kilometers on the low end, and then that number, thirty three eighty. So one hundred and thirty to two hundred and twenty kilometers. Let's let's say. Let's say 175 kilometers, we will begin our braking burn using the full power of the main engines, it's like roughly halfway in between. So that's coming up really soon. And at any rate, it should at least slow us down so we don't slam the ground, but okay. All right, we're just gonna see what happens. So 175, we're going to begin the burn. And that's coming up in just a few seconds here. So let's just mm, attempt it to time warp, but maybe not. All right, maybe just a little bit. Okay, right now. I think I was about a kilometer late on that. Okay, so we are in retrograde. Okay, so vertical speed slowing down. Let's go ahead and do, do a tiny bit of time warp. That is super duper scary. Let's not time warp. 2800 left, so we will definitely zero out our vertical speed. It's like being in the Mars class. I've never been in the Mars class, but I've seen it on TV a lot. I think we're missing the base massively. Yeah, there's the base. So maybe one degree is too much. But I think I'd rather err on this side of things than on the other side because over there we're, on the, we're in the mountains. All right, we're still at 30 kilometers, so we're not gonna hit the ground. I just don't know if we're gonna have enough fuel for this. Okay, so my plan is once my vertical speed gets to zero, I'm gonna kill the engines. I guess one thing, the reason that this is taking more than the amount is because we're not hovering directly. See, I think we're gonna run out of gas again. But will it at least zero out, maybe? I mean, it doesn't have to be exactly zero, but really close to zero. Getting ready to kill the main engines. It's gonna be super tight on fuel. Okay, getting ready to kill the engines now. Okay, all right, this is the best we've done so far. All right, let me make sure I'm in rotation. And let me make sure I have the forward facing camera. All right, how fast am I descending? Oh my gosh, I'm descending really fast. Hold. Okay, not so fast. Okay, turn that off. Translation, rotation. All right, I'm just waiting until I see Brighton Beach in front of me. Levels on. Seven minutes. How far away from the base am I? I'm falling at 16 meters a second. Actually, one thing I need to do is... All right, so... All right, let me go down to 0 0.1 for a second because I have to think. All right, I forgot to turn on the communication stuff. It's 116, wrong direction. It's 116 something for the long range. It should, it should show me when I have it. There it is. All right, so let me start with that. Okay, so that will help me get lined up. So let me go back to real time. Seven minutes to go, it's gonna be tight. It's 
still at six kilometers up. Okay, so we're not as far from the base as I thought we were. That's really good. And we're moving sort of towards the base, but not exactly. Translation. Okay, translate over. I don't see how we can make it. We only have 150 delta V left. Let me turn this off because we can fall. Let me turn that off. Um, we do need to move forward. Let me put the landing gear down. Rotation. Oh, that's a terrible idea. I can't see. Translation. Okay, let's move forward. Do we have some autopilot on? Yeah, we have level on. Let's turn that off. Why are we ascending? Oh no, I had the hover on. I'm in a moron. I'm stupid. Okay, we can't make it. We're not going to have enough fuel. But let's see how close we can get to the base. Rotation. Translation. Okay, so we're moving towards the base. We have six minutes left. We're falling at 28 meters a second. We're still 21 kilometers out from the base. Ah, okay. So one degree is too much but it's the right idea because it puts us on the other side so we don't run the risk of slamming into the mountains. But we can't land. Uh, in fact, right now we have more vertical speed than we have delta velocity, so we can't land. Um, all right, well, let's... Let's try to move towards the base at least. I wonder... All right, let's see if we can at least not die hitting the ground. Because we're not going to make it over towards the base. So once we get close to the ground, I'm going to turn on the hover hold. You are clear to land. I'm using linear RCS right now to try to offset. All right, I'm going to put in our hover hold now. All right, we've ran out of fuel. We're going to hit hard, 103 meters a second. 500, 400, 300, 200, no, 100, I was trying to <laughs> slow down things as much as I could with linear RCS, but it's not enough. Well, I mean, that was, that was a pretty good attempt in terms of, you know, we got slowed down. over it we got you know near the base we slowed down so so now we just have to work out the timing a little bit better uh, to make sure that we can do this within our DV budget um, and again I think we would have succeeded if we had more fuel but but so it's a so it's a two challenge thing you know and it's not just the time factor but it's also it's also Delta V so but we well, each time we've done this so far we've improved quite a bit so yeah, that's going to be it for this video. That's my fourth attempt at this. Let me know what you think. Um, I'll try to maybe get these posted soon so that you can leave your feedback before I go on and record another attempt. But I don't know, I'm pretty... <laughs> this, is, this is like addicting. I just want to keep trying and trying and trying. But, uh, and I don't really want to do a bunch of attempts off camera. So um, anyway, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'll leave links in the description down below where you can download this challenge for yourself and I'll leave another link in the description showing how you can uh, install it in case you have any questions about the installation. It's really straightforward and simple but uh, the video for installation is really short so go ahead and check that out and I'll see you in the next video.